we're at our local grocery store getting our everyday eats. Somebody just woke up from there now. You ready to get Brussels sprouts and cookie? Yeah. We go to Costco to stock up every other week, maybe at once every three weeks. I go to different grocery stores for different ingredients, but this grocery store is called Hagen's. It's a Pacific Northwest company. This is where we go mainly to get our weekly groceries. Eggs, vegetables especially, I don't buy that at Costco. Um, and just whatever we're gonna cook up. So today I'm gonna show you exactly what we like to buy every single week. Ready? All right, let's go. All right, got my helper. She knows how to push the cart. First thing on our list is tomatoes. So we eat a ton of tomatoes here. This is our favorite brand. Yeah, go, yeah, yeah, we need to get those. So go ahead and get one of those at least. Probably two of these because we could easily go through this in one meal. Thank you. Gently, can you put this away too? And then sometimes I like to get the heirloom tomatoes, which I don't see here right now, or these bigger ones. These are perfect for sandwiches. And then the cherry tomatoes for snacking. Don't worry, I'm gonna grab that. Is this the one I grabbed? I think so. Tomatoes are for breakfast with eggs. As I mentioned, sandwiches, everything. Definitely some broccolini. We like to roast this with some garlic olive oil. The girls love it. Sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on it. You're good to go. Nice side dish for dinner. You like broccolini? <laughs> Asparagus, because same thing. Roast these or grill these on a frying pan. Thank you. Such a good helper. I also get green onions. I like to put these into our scrambled eggs or just use it for all kinds of dishes, especially stir fries. Something we've been getting a lot lately, arugula. So arugula is kind of a spicy green and it's a perfect peppery side dish or topping to a lot of dishes. It's a little bit spicy, but you like, oh, you, do you like this? Because you ate this last time. Yeah. Oh, it's not spicy. So lately we've been putting these on our pepperoni pizzas. I learned this from my friend Grant. And we ate it with our steak. It was delicious. This is perfect. Underrated. Arugula. Can you put this in the cart, please? Thank you. Put it on the bottom. There you go. Perfect. Right there. No, down. down. Right there. That's a perfect spot. All right, let's go. So I did get apples at Costco, but this is the girl's favorite. Honey crisp apples. You want to get apples? Okay, hey, we, we need a bag first, so. Okay, here, let me get a bag. Can you pull it? Go ahead and pull it. Good job. Can you open it? I need help. Yeah, you need help? All right, here. Pull it, open. There we go. All right. I'm going to hold it and you put them in. Come on. Get the really colorful ones. Yep. Oh, wait, wait. Hold, hold, hold it. Hold the other side and then put it down. There you go. Get these ones over here. They're more colorful. There you go. Good job. I, yeah, okay, I know, huh? okay. Good call on the apple. Okay, the girls are gonna love this. Rarely do you find them organic, but these are just little mandarins. Easy peel. You wanna get that one? Okay, put it in the bottom, but be very gentle with it, okay? Okay, good job. I think we're good. Oh, you are strong. Let me feel those muscles. Whoa! Okay, Whoa, so strong. Whoa. Okay, go ahead and push the cart. Thank you. Watch out for the shelf. We're about to enter the bakery. That can mean only one thing, a free cookie. Let's see. Hey, you're gonna ask for a free cookie? You have to ask though, okay? I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> What do you say? Oh, you said thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm really proud of you. you. Said please and thank you. Is that a good cookie? Can I try one bite though? Oh, wow. It's a Seahawk cookie. Got the Seahawk colors. Okay. So the girls love the cheesy bagels. I'll probably go ahead and get just one pack of these. Remember at Costco? I got that big pack of uh, chicken. So this is organic chicken thighs. 
$17 just for this one pack. So definitely way better deal at Costco. When it comes to our foods, we try to buy organic, but some, some things I don't mind getting non-organic. But with meat, I almost always get organic unless I buy it from a local farmer and I know, you know, how, how they're raising their, their animals. Okay, what are you about to grab? This is her favorite thing. Okay, what is that? Um, cult. cult? Okay, go ahead and put it in there since you're being such a good girl. Yeah, right there. Thank you. Now, obviously, it makes sense because this is a yogurt section, but they put it at the eye level of kids. Right? Right, Leah? Right? Mm-hmm. Eggs. So there's tons of options. Now you can get normal eggs like that, or you can get cage free, which means that they're not living in a cage. I'm sure that's ideal. Uh, and then you got this pasture raised. So they're actually walking around in grass and eating bugs, which is good for the eggs. So the, our go-to is this one, Vital Farms organic and pasture raised. I also sometimes get the non-organic. They're, they're also good too. Kind of all depends on the price. What I do is I like to look 79 cents per count, 66 cents per count. Obviously this one's organic, this one um, isn't. But I think today, I'm gonna go for this one. 18, always check your eggs. So one of the nice things about pasture rays, especially from this company, the egg yolks are very orange or a nice yellow color. All right, so for cheese, this is my go-to brand for pizzas right here. Low moisture mozzarella cheese. This is the brand Frigo, but uh, it's a harder, firmer mozzarella that I can grate. Now I used to get the shredded stuff, in fact, my go-to was right here, the Tillamook, which is a Northwest brand, pretty shredded. But I find that this melts nicer, better flavor, and lasts longer. Childhood favorite of ours, the kids love it. It's a nice protein for the morning. Little Smokies. These are just tiny little sausages with cheese inside of them. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Do you like the Cheddar Smokies? Oh, she's not really a fan anymore. We love making french fries for the girls. Sometimes I will fresh cut them from raw potatoes, but this is the brand right here, the Alexia Yukon Select Fries. This is from a Yukon Gold. Potatoes, delicious. So one thing about deep frying french fries, you want your potatoes to be as dry as possible. Remove all the moisture because when it goes into the oil and it's bubbling and it's steaming, that's all the moisture escaping when you fret when you freeze them it removes the moisture believe it or not so if you make french fries from scratch and you boil them you're supposed to if you want to put them in the freezer and that freezer will remove mo more moisture so at least one day daddy, daddy. yep ego hey daddy makes you waffles okay we don't need this i'm assuming that's the original but um, didn't even know there's a strawberry flavor, blueberry flavor, thick and fluffy, chocolate chip, minis, cinnamon toast, um, even a buttermilk. Huh. Wow. A lot of options. She knows to avoid all the obstacles now that she can see beyond the cart. See what I mean? The placement of these things. Like, why is there random candy in the frozen aisle? I secretly love gummy bears. This Black Forest brand, that's a really I like good one. These. I know, I like it too, but guess what? We got a lot of candy from I Halloween like still. I know you like it. Okay, speaking of sweet things, ice cream. So normally we buy our ice cream from Costco these days, just like some kind of vanilla, uh, the Kirkland brand. But if I were to buy it here, is it Altine's or Alden's? I don't know, but this brand we really like. What's cool is there's a lot of local brands. Oh, Milk, that uh, dessert company in New York City, they have their own brand of ice cream, which is bomb. Definitely try this cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow. That's, that's really good. Lopez Island, this is a local brand. They also have great ice cream. Oh, here it goes, Snoqualmie. They're a local brand as well. I think they got Daddy, an organic go version. Bobby, oh, you like that? You like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, right here, Acme. If you ever see this, uh, sometimes it's at Whole Foods. Definitely try it. 
It's very dense ice cream. Gotta turn it. There you go, now push. Okay. Can you grab the stuff in the yeah, bottom? Yeah, I know. Good job. Grab everything. <laughs> Can you help me out here? Good job. You know? Oh, you got it. Thank you. I know you should be one thing that every store can have the same thing. I know. Am I right, Dave? Yeah, right there until. Okay, thank you. You don't want to do it. Nope. Totally. Okay, so let me actually see what the actual total is. Okay, so uh, 84 bucks. That'll get us all the way to next week. So that combined with that huge Costco bill, 500 bucks for two weeks of food, which I know kind of sounds a lot, but we rarely eat out. That'll basically feed us for every single meal, including whatever we have in the pantry. I mean, it's still expensive, but there's seven of us. So kind of need to do that. If we ate out, you're looking at a hundred dollar bill at least every single meal, even if we went out to somewhere affordable, unless we went to fast food, then it'd be half that price, but it'd be way more. So you save a lot of money when you cook at home. This is one reason I'm passionate about it, not necessarily just to save money, but also it's way healthier. You know, what goes into your food. Um, but I want to share that. One day I'm gonna break down kind of our average cost because ultimately we do go out once in a while. Judy and I like to go to dinner dates or you know date trips and you know our food bill does rack up uh, seven people inflation. I saw a comment the other day about how our Costco run bill. They said that would feed them in their country for a whole month. It's jacked up here. Prices are crazy. Anyways, let me know in the comments where you want to see me go shop with this one or the different recipes I haven't put up um, from the vlog. So you want to go home? Okay, that's what she's saying. She wants to go home. Let's go home.